Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy King Chaos from About More Horizon Zero Dawn. This is part 16. In the last episode, guys, we've done the fields of the fallen and into the borderlands where we found out what happened to Ursa, Erin's sister. So now I do not know what we have to do. But in, the, in between last episode and here, guys, I managed to buy back my old bow. And I also found out you can get the Tinkerer skill, which pulls the better mods off that old bow. Because that's what I was more pissed about, was losing the two mods I put on that. So any anyway, luck, we'll get the Tinkerer skill before the game ends. Good to see you. Right. And I did manage to bring myself so far up here as well. Uh, I'll show you. There's the old bow. And that's the new one. Old one, new one. See how that one's got the two purple mods on it? This has got one purple. So I could do with getting those two off that one and putting on this one, which would be sick. Or I think it would be sick. Oh. Right, here we go. The sun shall fall. This doesn't sound too good, does it? Glad I stopped for a bit. Right, here we go. Can I craft anything? Yes, and on that note as well, guys, I managed to. As you can see, there's a whole new slots opened up, which I've done, so I managed to do that as well. There's one of those log things, is it? Yep. The Mad Sun King. Talk to a bard. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you... I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems... cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Uh, yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Erend, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy. A moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. 
You were there. Did she suffer? She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. I will. But once this threat to Meridian is dealt with, another one looms. We have to talk about the Eclipse. We will. I promise. You bloody well better. No in games, you always get made running a wild goose chase. Always doing good for somebody else. Shut up. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. Hmm. This hit me with a knot right now. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. The smoke will darken the sun. As the city goes up in flames, there's there's got to be a way to stop it. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. If that bomb goes off, the blaze will ignite in a firestorm. So how do we get rid of it? So, is, uh, is, is that thing going to go off? No use that rope, no. Ah. Would never have noticed that, guys. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is going to get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Uh. We did it! 
Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This isn't over. Durval said he'd make a VOD watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. Now that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. If he tries for the palace, he's finished. Swag's always that I'm supposed to be looking for. Something these men might have left behind. Oh, I ain't getting none there, that's for sure. Investigate the area. Four tracks. It's just a bit of blaze in there. Can I interest you in a reasonable share? Get to the fire and shut up a bucket line! What happened? I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. Must be where Durval assembled the detonator. <sighs> he, Durval did find a way into the palace. An uh, assassination attempt or something. Downs we have to go. Two good headshots, that. Some healing shit. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian, Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. Didn't I, I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No, it should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner.
This will come in handy. Most likely. What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Oh, shit. Machines. They saw me. This is it. They had a, he had a big gun somewhere. I hope you like fighting these things because there's more in the way. If you can get a machine to do it for you. Whoa. Change off of that. Ah, stop me for spearing that mofo. Done. Ooh wee. I'll take everything. This old last. as I wish Ursa was here to kill you. I don't mind doing it for her. <coughs> I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Aaron, you'll screw it up! I 
I know what you are afraid of. Going back to mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. What the hell have I done? Taught uh, Austin and talked to Dorval for like, two seconds. <clears throat> I'll talk to them all first. Talk to Aaron first because I don't know if this is a three way kind of directional mission type thing. I like Aaron, so we'll stick with him for a minute. It's just here, anyway. Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Now, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit-chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. Now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I hate to tell you this after everything you've been through, but there's another fight brewing and I need your help. Helis and his fanatics are coming from Meridian. No rest for the weary, huh? Well, don't worry. I'll be there for you. Good man, Aaron. Good man. I'll go talk to Durval, and then we'll finish talking to Avad. Moment of your time, Outlander. Come to gloat, Nora. Well, as you can see, I'm busy. I get it. You want to rub it in? Well, oh, that was a lot of good then. Where am I going here? That's where.
Music's quite cool in this game. It's like Skyrimish. gratitude feels woefully insufficient you saved my life you saved meridian and because of you there will be justice for ursa's murder we can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty it's hard to imagine where we'd be without you avad stop there's something urgent we have to i know but please just listen for a moment I want you to stay in Meridian. What? Why? Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You're strong, shrewd, uh, capable. I could use someone like you at my side. Thank you for the offer, but... I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's gonna take me far from Meridian. Uh, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman. Just as Ursa was. But you had something urgent to discuss? Helis is preparing to attack Meridian. It could come at any time. By the sun. Wait a moment. I want Marat to hear this. Aloy. The Sun King tells me that you bring grave news. Please, tell us what you know. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west. With an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them god demon machine whatever you want to call it it's called hades and it doesn't want meridian at all it wants the spire and if it gets there it will send out a call waking more ancient machines more than we could ever defeat all will be lost we can't let that happen i'm trying to understand but my responsibility lies with meridian Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your Radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the City Guard fortify the Western Ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the Spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. There's a hell of a lot of dialogue, I take it. Oh, the looming shadow. I'm thinking run up there and get a save point just in case it's a long ass episode and how the hell do I get there? Can I just straight off the side? No, I hell of a can't. I thought 
<laughs> nope, definitely not. So how the hell do I get over here? I can't get the fuck out of here. I can't get the fuck out of here. I think either way I'm going to run into this dialogue anyway. Or do I need to talk to his ass? Yes, I need to talk to him. And do keep me appraised of each of you alive. Where's this? It's over here. This way. Another one of those dialogue things. Liberation. Where the hell am I going? Oh. Robbed. Come on, move. At least I ain't got far to go in the next episode, guys. Right, guys, this is your boy King Chaos. If you enjoyed this episode, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And I shall see you in the next one, guys. Bye.